What really sets cookie cutter sharks apart from other species is the wide range of different animals that they are willing to bite and attack. So they essentially will take bites out of anything from orcas to white sharks to submarines. My name is Dr. Yanis Papastamatiu. I'm a marine biologist at Florida International University and I specialize in the behavior and ecology of sharks. Cookie cutter sharks only get up to about half a meter in length and most of them are considerably smaller than that. They're generally shaped like a large brown cigar, which is obviously quite distinctive compared to most species of shark. They also have a very sort of unique mouth shape and triangular shaped teeth. And then right behind the head, they have this browned collar, also called a dog collar because it looks like a dog collar. It's just basically a series of pigmented cells. And finally, one other thing to notice about cookie cutter sharks is they have very small fins, which would seem a strange adaptation for a species of shark that basically lives in open ocean. Cookie cutter sharks are a pretty mysterious and elusive species. They live in open ocean, which is obviously vast, and to make it even harder to study them, we believe they only come up to the surface at night, which makes them very difficult to find. What's also really mysterious about cookie cutter sharks is exactly how they manage to prey on these animals that are much larger than themselves. We believe that they use that pigmented collar in addition to some cells that actually produce light, photophores, to lure species much larger than them to almost attack them. And then once the animal comes up towards a cookie cutter shark, they've basically turned the tables on the predator. They're able to then somehow attach onto the side of that animal, perhaps creating a vacuum. And we believe they actually spin and twist and use that sort of motion to remove a plug of tissue, which is why you see these wounds with very, very smooth interior surfaces. 